Hi guys, welcome back to the Next Planet channel as we continue this IGCSE paper. If you have not watched the previous video, you can watch it. All right, let's go. All right, so it gave us this triangle within a semicircle. All right, it says A, B, C lie on a circle, center O, diameter A, C, which is shown up above. Complete this statement. Angle ABC, which is this one, is 90 degrees because one, it, it could be angle at the center. One of the reasons could be angle at the circumference is half the angle at the diameter. All right, so this 180 degrees. Or it could be it is angle within a semicircle equal 90 degrees. So that's one of the rules. I don't think I want to type it out. All right, yeah. So angle at circumference is half angle at the center. And it's only one more. All right, it's a work of the area of triangle ABC. All right, so clearly we can see that the base is six. So it's a right angle triangle, and we know that it's half the base times the height. So it's base times the height divided by two. The base is six, and the height is 10. So this right here will be the height. Divide by two. I don't know why this baby like right? this. Six times ten, sixty. So I'll move that down. So six times ten would be sixty. And we divide by two, so that would be thirty centimeters square for the answer. It says work out AC. So AC basically is a right angle triangle. So AC is the hypotenuse. So we can use the Pythagoras theorem for that one. So it would be six square plus 10 square. I will find the square root. So that would be 36 plus 10 times 10, 100. So that's the square root of 136. We got go 11 points on it. 12, 12, 1, 44, so that's the 11 points. So you guys can leave in the comment section exactly. I don't have a calculator. All right, this one said make R the subject of the formula, and that is worth two marks. So we say area is equal to pi r squared. That's the area of a circle. So we want to make R, so we, what we do, we're going to get rid of the square and the pi. So let's get rid of the pi first by dividing by pi. So we know of a over pi equal r squared. The opposite of squared is square root. So we just find the square root. So our final answer would be r is equal to the square root of the area over pi. That's how we find the radius. The part here, the kind of uh, never do so wonderful. So let me see if I can do that. So we know that the base is 6, and the height is 10, so it's 6. I don't know why. Okay, so not right here. So it's 6 times the 10. Oh, I mean, now it goes 6 over 10 divided by 2, so that works out to 60 divided by 2, so that's 30. So the area is 30 centimeters square. All right, show me how it's upright. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Lennox Benitz, I'm out, no doubt. I'll definitely see you guys in another video.